This is One on One. Though Othello never knew he was getting schemed on by a member of his crew. Iago, charming and his rhyming was great, but behind all the greats, he was the slimiest snake. You wonder why I'm mad? You wonder why I'm mad? I'm gonna tell you why I'm mad. Check it. Three of the hottest hip hop producers in town told them my album should drop next and that I should throw down. Now I know what I should be, I know what I'm worth, but Othello just ignores me and says, Cassio's first. Yo, battle after battle after battle with this crew. I murdered mad MCs, but what's Othello do? He deals the freshman a fresh hand, and he makes him his best man, and lessens my chances by making me yes man. So hip hop and Shakespeare, there you go. And we've got uh, GQ and JQ. They are the Q brothers, the creators of Othello, the remix off Broadway at the West Side Theater, 407 West. 43rd Street. Gentlemen, how you doing? Great, Good. Steve. How Good you to doing? Be here. Coming to us from the north side of Chicago, <laughs> here to New York City. Yes, sir. This is your idea. Way back, you were 19 years of age. At what school? I was at the Experimental Theater Wing at Tisch School of the Arts, and uh, it wasn't just my idea. It was me and a group of friends, and it was kind of like some kind of intervention from a greater source that was like, this needs to be done. Because what we set out to do is just merge hip hop and theater, and we ran out of time to make something original. And it turns out, as you know, Shakespeare is public domain. So yeah. why not? And then as soon as we started <laughs> translating, it made perfect sense. So when then your little brother, your actual little brother. Yes. Yeah. You, Jay. Jay, you told him, you say, hey, I've got something here? Yeah, What's yes. he say? I was, in, I was like my first year of college and he said, uh, Hey, can you, you're always drawing in your notebook. Can you like help us make a flyer with some of your graffiti? And I was like, what's the flyer for? And he said, I got this idea. Me and my boys are doing this thing. It's a hip hop version of Shakespeare's Comedy of Errors. And I was like, okay. And I was like, do you need, like, can I DJ it? And he's like, well, maybe when you get here, you know? And so then the next year I transferred to New York and, and we started going, so. Yeah. Set this up for us. And so that people want to go see it, describe it. So that at the time was The Bomity of Errors, which ran off Broadway 17 years ago. And we were like kids, our dream came true. We went off to do uh, a bunch of movies, TV. All, we were been in LA for eight years, Chicago for another six. We've been all over. We all started doing different things. 17 years later and three plays later, we are rewriting, recreating, ad rapting, as we call it, instead of adapting, ad rapting. Um, Shakespeare's Othello. It's called Othello the Remix. It was originally commissioned by the Globe Theater in London and Chicago Shakespeare Theater mm. on Navy Pier in Chicago. And um, we've traveled the world with like three different versions of it, 12 countries in four years. Um, we've won awards all over the world as uh, Best Ensemble, Best New Work in festivals, Edinburgh Fringe Festival, uh, Melbourne Arts Festival, um, you name it. We've been to South Korea, the United Arab Emirates, <clears throat> but we've created the fourth folio version, which is uh, the newest version of the play. <laughs> we've upped every little stake we can. We've added some musical numbers. Yeah, there's new songs. I mean, this is definitely the tightest version of the show we've ever done. Yeah, and yes. it's, for, it's for New York. How do two of you collaborate on this? Um, so we both, we both wrote it, we both direct it, we're both in it. Um, Who else is in it? Where'd you get these the other music. folks? What's yeah, that? so the, it, I think that one of the cool things about this show as opposed to other shows that you might see um, in New York right now is that th there were no auditions for this show. This what? show was written for this ensemble. Yeah. We wrote it, we're in it, and our two best friends are the other two people Pastel, in Pringle it. Pringle and Jackson Dorn. <clears throat> and they, you know, basically, um, they've been a part of our company for uh, anywhere from nine to 20 years, depending on which one you're talking about. And the creation- you got, me, we got a DJ. Yeah, and DJ Supernova. DJ Supernova. Yeah, he's you from knew, New York. He, he's from New York, yeah. he was in it, and you were like, let's, he actually was in our version of uh, A Christmas Carol. We do something called A Q Brothers Christmas Carol. And since it was coming to New York, we cast him as our DJ in the New York version because he's from here. And, and he's uh, so good. Yeah. And our DJ from Chicago wasn't available. He's making a film. Oh, real show. quick, can we show some pictures? 2013, Cook County Jail. You perform what? Yeah, Othello the remix. Yeah, we Cook did County. Othello at Cook County Jail. Yeah, it was, it was intense. Do we get the pictures of that? I thought it was a Christmas thing. No, no, the no, one no. we did at the jail was was, was Adela's this remix. Yeah. You did this one. Yeah. yeah what was that like? Sheesh. I mean, you talk about a story of jealousy, murder, betrayal, and which is Othello. Yeah. Yeah. And, and um, then you bring it into that context, and some of the words that you're saying that you've said 400 times, you've done this show, 
and then completely mean something else in that environment. It was, it was intense, it was hair-raising experience. What kind of reaction did you get? They freaked out. I mean, there was 250 men and 250 women who generally are never in the, in same, the same room, room together, yeah. and they're in the same room on two separate sides. And most of, the, most of the dudes were watching the ladies, how they reacted, and there were some dudes who were like, reacting less inhibitedly, but like most of them were, I mean, until the end, they jumped up and they screamed. We have testimonials from them, but they were, it makes sense that we talked to some of them and they said, you, around here, you know, laughter is a sign of weakness. Like it's a vulnerable, it's a vulnerable place to be if you're enjoying yourself. So you gotta, you gotta be hard the whole time. And then uh, the ladies. I mean, that's it, we still got them. We got them. Yeah, we because got them. we're like, by the way, I mean, we should mention Othello's a tragedy. <laughs> you know, the original, but ours is a comedy. <laughs> yeah. and so uh, it's very comedic. There's a couple moments in there that hopefully give you a little emotional sucker punch, but. You in, take poetic license. Oh, for sure. Big yeah, time. A ton. You don't dress up as women, do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you don't. Yeah, what, the, what, what play the, is great when uh, without men dressing up as women? It's yeah. Yeah. You can do what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it's New York City, man. Well, well, I mean, <laughs> but, uh, no, but also, like, that's what Shakespeare was doing. That's right. And he was borrowing all these stories from the Greeks. And so when people get too precious with Shakespeare, I think it's important to remember, he was having a blast with the stories of old from his day, you know? I suppose taking so literally, yeah. but I'm sorry. Yeah, no, even when he was doing a tragedy, there was so much comedy in it. And it, it, nowadays, if you see, I mean, you know, you see plays done without adapting them, it's really, really difficult to sit through or to perform well because if you take something from 500 years ago and you want to affect people in the same way that that, that factor affected mm. people 500 years ago, I mean, how can you do it without adapting it? I mean, that's where, that's a school of thought we come so, from. I'm curious, um, given all the attention that Hamilton is getting, your reaction to it? Never heard of it. Yeah, I know. Uh, move on. <laughs> no, I so, think uh, <laughs> I do. I do. It's good. <laughs> All right. So, no, no, no. You know, it, it actually sparked an impulse in us to to do Hamlet, and we're gonna call it Hamilton and put it up right there. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and just hope this people. This guy's good. People were like, hey, tickets well, only one hundred dollars. Got the wrong ticket on yeah. accident. You know? Tickets today only one hundred dollars, and just collect all the runoff from there. <laughs> You're a marketing genius. Yes. <laughs> Guys um, from Chicago. No, it's, no, we, now we, you we, won a World Series. Yeah, that's what happens. That's, that's, right. that's yeah. what happens. You're all cocky now. Yeah, no, um, man. We're hustlers. We're from Chicago. We love hip hop. You know, okay. so anyway, if your show was in hip hop, I would what watch are you gonna it do way with this? more. Times. Come on, look how straight you need I am. Rhyme. Look, look how hard you're rhyme the whole up. show. You can yeah. do it. We'll write it for you. <laughs> how you gonna, hold on a second. How are you going to freestyle and do one on one with Steve Adubato on public television and freestyle? <laughs> Are yo, you yo. serious? Yo, Come check on. it, check it. I'm I got here. Steve Adubato and the Brothers Q. We had one on one, we made it one on two. Yeah. Come on, no doubt, and this ain't a beater. We hanging out at Thello the Remix Westside Theater. JQ dropped the beat. We in I can't believe this. And 66 Street. Yeah, we in a room and it's all glass. I'm looking at you and you talking out your booty. What? <laughs> what? That was. That was. That was. What do we do now? I mean, like, after that, I mean, <laughs> first of all, I didn't think it was possible. Uh, we, I did not think it was possible, but you took one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> a serious, discussion-oriented public... Okay, what would you do with Charlie Rose? No, I'll leave that alone. <laughs> you're not that he, serious, guy. Charlie is the best. No, you're not, not that awesome. serious. No, well, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You don't need to be. You're a good I know, guy. it's all good. So, um, you do workshops all over the... The world? Yeah. What do you mean, workshops or what? Yeah, so what happened is when we started touring our piece around, um, people from the community or schools nearby would bring school groups and say like, hey, can you come and like show, teach Shakespeare or teach acting through your lens? And so we started doing all these workshops and then it turned into sort of a curriculum that we have now. And we uh, developed over about 10 years yeah, of working and our, on it. Our, our buddy who's in the show, Jackson, who's a, um, he is our director of education, and, he, and he, he has like turned this thing into a very streamlined, cool workshop for kids. So we get high school English classes. We get, we've done- Adults. Uh, yeah, we did, in the prisons we did workshops. Hmm. We did workshops for third graders talking about just rhyme. You know, like, Actually, so it's, we've done it all over the we place. We went to Louisiana State uh, Penitentiary uh, with, you know, lifers and double lifers. Jay and I went down and uh, directed them in, in writing their own version of 
Hamlet that they put on, a hip hop version of Hamlet that they put on for their own prison community and their invited family. And you taught them? Uh, yeah, we taught Coach them, them what we and, do. And, and all Missouri. female Missouri. Muslim Missouri, what school? I say? Oh, I meant Another, an all female Muslim school you did? Yeah, yeah. 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 In Manchester. Of, in Manchester, what? Yeah. Um, and you taught them what? We taught them how to how to, how to write rhyme. plays and rap. And yeah. just express themselves in rhyme. And re- it was interesting to watch. Like, uh, people, when they get a forum, especially young people, get a forum to express themselves and there are no rules. The kind of things that they were saying were really moving, you mm-hmm. know? It was really cool. You, yeah. you, you guys are good. Probably. You guys are really good. And I can't thank, thank you enough thank for coming you. into the public television family and adding um, your energy, your passion, your talent, and Thanks. making one-on-one something I never thought it could or would be. Thanks, brother. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> can we promote uh, Othello the Remix? Othello the Remix. Check it where, out. Uh, oh. Over at the West Side Theater, 407. You know West 43rd you know. Street. Gentlemen. Ava, Thank can you. I, can I say something to the audience real, yeah, real quick? quick? Like, support off-Broadway theater. Broadway's got enough people going to it. Right now, we're, we, we've got to keep the lights on, and we're bringing Thank something you, that you won't ever see. You guys else. are great. Thank you. Right. Anytime. Come back. Thanks, brother. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Summit Medical Group, St. Peter's University, Suez, MD Advantage Insurance Company of New Jersey, the New Jersey Office of the Insurance Fraud Prosecutor, the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, and by the Give Something Back Foundation. Promotional support provided by NJ.com, Small News, Big News, True Jersey, and by the New Jersey Chamber of Commerce, the statewide voice of business in New Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.